Here are the top FMT News Bytes, Wednesday, May 8th. Senate President Mutang Tagal, who is being treated at the National Heart Institute in Kuala Lumpur, is in serious condition. Sarawak Deputy Minister in the Premier's Department, Garawat Gala, said Mutang's health is still critical with little change since the latter was brought back to Kuala Lumpur from Azerbaijan. A Buddhist group has criticized a Korean DJ for his performance at a club in Kuala Lumpur while dressed as a monk. The Young Buddhist Association of Malaysia said it received complaints that DJ New Jeans Nim had harmed and disrespected the Buddhist way of life. In a statement, YBAM Secretary General Yao Xiangyan said the DJ's impersonation of a Sangha member in the entertainment venue was inappropriate. Johari Ghani has urged the U.S. government to transfer to Putrajaya a portion of the 2.9 billion U.S. dollars in fines and penalties paid by Goldman Sachs for its involvement in the 1MDB saga. In a statement to FMT, the 1MDB Asset Recovery Task Force chairman said Malaysia was entitled to receive part of the sum paid by the New York-based investment bank to the U.S. authorities. Consider hiring bodyguards. This advice was issued by the Football Association of Malaysia after three football players were attacked. Quoting the New Straits Times, Reuters reported FAM President Hamidin Amin as saying that hiring bodyguards was a sensible idea. Meanwhile, police are looking into the possibility that these attacks were linked to the accusations leveled at the FAM. A poison pen letter went viral on social media last month accusing FAM of fraud, abuse of power, mismanaging funds, discrepancies in salaries and benefits, and issues with the Harima Malaya Squad and the National Training Center project. UNICEF has called for the introduction of a universal childcare allowance for mothers. This is to bolster the expansion of social protection measures for children in Malaysia. DM Analytics lead researcher Muhammad Abdul Khalid proposed a monthly allowance of 200 ringgit for mothers from pregnancy until the child reaches the age of two. That's all for now. For more updates, log on to FMT and follow us here.